Arctic Cat has a winner with the Pro Cross chassis. Both the 129 and 137 inch versions have got all the stake and sizzle any discerning rider might be pining for. And in 2016, things get even juicier with features aimed at making the Pro Cross even stronger competition in every class. To make things even easier on us normal folks, Articat has also simplified their model naming structure. Instead of ZRs being short and XFs being longer, everything is now a ZR. The sled we're testing today is a ZR8137 Limited. The Limited package really is the way to go for a person looking for a do-all kind of sled. The LXR is a little bit tame. The Snow Pro is a little more aggressive but lacks a lot of the creature comforts some riders are looking for. The RR package, well, it's just serious. Way too serious for 99% of riders on the snow. The Limited includes things like a mid-height windshield, Snow Pro brake lever, goggle bag, rear tunnel bag, cool front bumper, and tunnel flares that help keep snow off your back. It also comes in two of what we think are the coolest color combos on the snow, all stealth black or all green. Yes, goodies and graphics are important, but they're not what really matters. The features of this Limited that we want to talk about are the all-new Team Industries clutches and the new Fox Zero QS3 shocks. Since day one, we've been less than taken with the overall ride compliance of the Procross. The problem is most notable on higher-end performance models equipped with Fox floats. They're valve too stiff and are not compression adjustable. The Fox QS3 is the absolute answer to this problem, and it offers some unique features that we think are gonna change the way people look at snowmobile suspensions. Instead of having 20 clicks of compression adjustment that are easy to lose track of and easy to adjust very wrong, the QS3 has a very simple three setting clicker knob that allows you to choose between soft, medium, and firm compression. Not only is this system easy to use and understand, but it also works excellent. The difference between each setting is immediately noticeable, and in our testing has proved to be very well calibrated for nearly any riding condition. The QS3s can be found on the front IFS in a 1.5 inch unit, and on the rear arm of the Limited in a two inch. The front arm of the Procross 137 inch slide action skid gets only a gas IFP shock. After spending some significant time with this setup, I have three observations. First, the QS3 shock package gives the Procross chassis the ride I always knew it could have. Two, we think the weak point in this system is now that IFP front arm shock, it should be replaced with another QS3. And third, we think Articat should ditch the floats on everything but their mountain sleds. The QS3 is definitely the shock to have. And if you're shopping for a new Articat this season, we think you'd be crazy to look at a sled equipped with anything else. The team makes some of the snowmobile industry's best clutches and clutch components. It just so happens their headquarters is right down the road from Articat in Thief River Falls. So it's a pretty convenient pairing. And it's an important one. Articat has taken a lot of flack for belt related issues over the past couple seasons and those who know tend to blame the clutches. The new Rapid Response and Rapid Reaction Boss clutches have been specifically designed for Articat and offer a number of benefits. In the primary, a steel spider, wider spider bearings, and a 70% increase in spider button contact area greatly improve durability. BOSS stands for Built on Shaft Secondary, and because the two halves of the secondary clutch are assembled directly on the driven shaft, there are fewer parts. Belt adjustability is simplified, and weight is saved. These clutches are among the best money can buy, and they work exactly how you'd expect them to. Belt life is increased, and shift response is lightning fast. Arctic's 800cc twin has always been a hard motor to understand. It's pipey, makes its power at high RPM, and feels like maybe it doesn't run as clean as it should. But the numbers tell a different story. It makes awesome horsepower, it's undoubtedly fast, and it actually gets adequate gas and oil mileage. We've always liked this motor for its scrappy attitude, but I've said it before and I'll say it here again. The SeaTech 2 600 is just that much better. 
It's time the 800 gets a SeaTech 2 overhaul as well. The story here is a simple one. Arctic Cat had a great sled in their 2015 8000 Procross Limited, but good wasn't good enough for the crew at Thief River. They wanted to take the 2016 model to a whole nother level. They definitely succeeded. This is the best riding ZR I've ever swung a leg over. It handles great, looks awesome, and other than wishing for an 800 SeaTech 2, we can't think of anything we really want that this sled doesn't have. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more content from Snowtracks TV, click the like button and subscribe to the Snowtracks TV YouTube channel.